Five years ago, Eric Garner died at the hands of New York City police officers. And it's taken five years for Daniel Pantaleo, the cop who put Garner in that infamous chokehold, to be fired from the NYPD. Now, that's justice for some, but not enough justice for others. Five years later, and Eric Garner is still gone. But here's the thing. The cigarette tax that he was allegedly trying to circumvent is still in place. It's still illegal to sell Lucy's in New York City. I wonder, if that law wasn't on the books, might Eric Garner still be alive? And better yet, how many people have been stopped, questioned, frisked, arrested over the last five years because of this law? The tough thing about law enforcement is that enforcement involves force. And with those police interactions comes the risk that things can go south and even turn tragic. So let's be careful about what laws we keep on the books, all right? How about this? Don't support any law you don't want to see enforced. You know, with the decriminalization of marijuana in New York, I thought we were on a good path. One less law I didn't want to see enforced. But now, Governor Cuomo is following President Trump's lead, banning the sale of flavored e-cigarettes and nicotine e-liquids. Cuomo said it is undeniable that vaping companies are deliberately using flavors like bubblegum, Captain Crunch, and cotton candy to get young people hooked on e-cigarettes. It's a public health crisis, and it ends today. So, I guess the public health crisis of delicious vapes ends today, and the enforcement of the ban begins. What could possibly go wrong? Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to support us, check out our website, wetheinternet.tv.